Hear the Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to St. John. Now before the feast of the Passover, when Jesus knew that his hour was come, that he should depart out of this world unto the Father, having loved his own which were in the world, he loved them unto the end. And supper being ended, the devil having now put into the heart of Judas Iscariot, Simon's son, to betray him, Jesus, knowing that the Father had given all things into his hands, and that he was come from God and went to God, he rises from supper and laid aside his garments, and took a towel and girded himself. After that he poureth water into a basin, and began to wash the disciples' feet, and to wipe them with the towel wherewith he was girded. Then cometh he to Simon Peter, and Peter saith unto him, Lord, dost thou wash my feet? Jesus answered and said unto him, What I do thou knowest not now, but thou shalt know hereafter. Peter saith unto him, Thou shalt never wash my feet. Jesus answered him, If I wash thee not, thou hast no part with me. Simon Peter saith unto him, Lord, not my feet only, but also my hands and my head. Jesus saith to him, He that is washed needeth not save to wash his feet, but is clean every whit. And ye are clean, but not all. For he knew who should betray him. Therefore said he, Ye are not all clean. So after he had washed their feet and had taken his garments and was set down again, he said unto them, Know ye what I have done to you? Ye call me Master and Lord, and ye say, Well, for so I am. If I then, your Lord and Master, have washed your feet, ye also ought to wash one another's feet. For I have given you an example that ye should do as I have done to you. This is the Gospel of Christ. Ladies and gentlemen, it is for me a great sadness that I cannot be with you all today. The Maundy service has a very special place in my heart. It has its origin in the life of our Lord, who knelt before his disciples, and to their great surprise, washed their travel-weary feet. And as we have just heard, in doing so, he deliberately gave to them and to us all an example of how we should serve and care for each other. In this country, we are blessed by all the different services that exist for our welfare. But over and above these organizations and their selfless staff, we need and benefit greatly from those who extend the hand of friendship to us especially in a time of need. The 150 men and women who have been chosen today to receive the Maundy money from my wife are wonderful examples of such kindness, of going way beyond the call of duty and of giving so much of their lives to the service of others in their communities. This act of worship here in Worcester Cathedral reminds me of the pledge I made at the beginning of the coronation service, to follow Christ's example, not to be served, but to serve. That I have always tried to do, and continue to do, with my whole heart. It is my special prayer today that our Lord's example of serving one another might continue to inspire us and to strengthen all our communities. May God bless you all this Easter.